Another central figure in the special counsel probe is being accused of sharing information with an associate who may have ties to Russian intelligence. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harridge has the latest on that tonight. New trouble for Paul Manafort and the unusual way we found out about it today. Good evening, Catherine. Well, that's right, Brett, and good evening. A glitch in the court filing allowed the redacted portions to be read, revealing that the special counsel has alleged Paul Manafort reached out to a business associate and shared polling data related to the 2016 election. The business associate, Konstantin Kalimnik, is widely described as a Russian-Ukrainian political consultant and suspected intelligence operative. Kalimnik has previously denied ties to Russian intelligence. Today's court filings by Manafort's legal team led by Kevin Downing responds to special counsel allegations that the former Trump campaign chairman lied to federal investigators, violating his plea agreement. Manafort's lawyers report their client is suffering from depression, anxiety, and at times uses a wheelchair, adding prison conditions weigh heavily on his state of mind and memory. They told the court Manafort often does not have the chance to review records and refresh his memory before meeting with special counsel investigators. It's fair to say that Mr. Mistakes and failed recollections are common between the government and cooperating witnesses, they write. Notably, there is no identifiable pattern to Mr. Manafort's purported misrepresentations. No specific individual or potential crime is identified. Defense lawyers are not asking for an immediate hearing. They say special counsel claims that Manafort lied can be addressed during the pre-sentencing process. Manafort is scheduled to be sentenced in coming weeks in two separate prosecutions, Brett. Following all, Catherine, thanks.